downtown New Bern is celebrating National Constitution Week. Did you know a New Bern native started National Constitution Week? Ms. Henderson is here to tell you more. Good morning and welcome to downtown New Bern. We are here at the Gertrude Caraway Gardens. And as we all know, that this week is National Constitution Week. And we are celebrating the 233rd anniversary of our Constitution. So, what's important about Gertrude Caraway is that she was instrumental in having this become a national celebration. And so, Gertrude Caraway was born in 1896. She was a journalist, a teacher, a leader. She traveled the world several times, knew different presidents, was friends with the governor, uh, and she was a big mover and shaker, born in Newburn. So that's, that's very important to know that. Uh, she was friends with President Eisenhower, and because she was friends with President Eisenhower, she was able to have him declare this a national celebration week for the signing of the Constitution. And you see in my hand here, this is what the Constitution would look like. And so we're going to talk a little bit more about the Constitution in another video. But what I wanted you to see was this garden that's dedicated to Gertrude Carraway um, because she's a very important part of New Bern, very important history of New Bern. The Sons of the American Revolution, a group that preserves the history of the Revolutionary War through living history, perform a commemorative march in front of Tryon Palace in honor of Constitution Week. another video that you saw. Can you tell us what kind of drum this is? Well, this is a snare drum. Uh, it's known as a snare drum because on the bottom, it's got what it calls snare across the bottom. That's to give it a little uh, a tinkling noise when you play it. Like that. All right? Uh, the drums we use have been used since Roman times uh, in, in the uh, battle and with the army. Uh, it's to keep Hopefully, the uh, people in step. Now, uh, uh, we just we just went through uh, uh, a ceremony here where uh, people marched out with the flag. So, uh, and even today, uh, drums are used in the army uh, to uh, keep people in step as they march along. So, uh, oh, they're an element. Element. Someday, uh, some of you may be marching with the uh, Army or uh, Marines. We're out here like Marines. Probably some of your parents have been in the service and they know all about 
the drum is a very important part. And it will uh, let you know what direction to go to if you're off the top. Guys, I'm here with Bruce Martin, and he's of the Continental Army, and he's going to talk to you a little bit about the differences in the uniforms worn in that time. Yes, my great-great-great-great uh, great grandfather was Richard Martin. He was with the 4th Maryland Line, and the state of Maryland wanted all of their soldiers to look professional, so they purchased uniforms just like the one that I have on here. But you'll find that there's different uniforms in the Revolution based on what area you're from. People who are from the Northeast, New York, or New Jersey, instead of having the red cuffs and the red lining here, they would have buff, almost a, 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 a light, a, a very light tan color, buff with the blue. So they wore different uniforms. Now, the other uniforms you'll see of largely in the Revolution were militia. The people in the militia actually wore things like frock coats, hunting coats. The uniforms didn't match at all, but it's what they had. Uh, and not everybody was able to get a uniform, particularly in the beginning of the American Revolution. You wore what you had. Uh, and uh, it wasn't until later that uh, France provided a lot of the uniforms for their soldiers who fought the American Revolution. This rifle I have is called a brown vest, standard issue. Brown vest, brown vest, for the British Army. French and Indian War, and even all the way up to the 1850s, they used this particular rifle. So this would be a standard issue rifle for an American soldier. I'm about worn out here. All right, guys. So we visited Archery Caraway's garden. Some of we went to Tryon Palace and we watched the color guard for the revolutionary soldiers. And we actually got to talk to the drummer and also learn about the uniforms worn at that time. So now I want to talk a little bit about our Constitution and why we are celebrating this week. And remember tomorrow at 4 o'clock we're going to be ringing our bells. But right here is, is one of my friends and his name is Freedom Bear. Say hello to, to Freedom Bear. Here he is. And he, um, he and I have been talking, and he just wants to share with you how important this Constitution is. Okay, signed in 1787. It is a livable document, meaning that it ensures the freedoms that we enjoy today. It gives structure to our nation's government with the executive branch, the judicial branch, and the legislative branch. It established that. So it also ensures our individual rights. And those were those 10 amendment exercises that we did, or that I showed you in my video. Um, and that is called the Bill of Rights. Anyway, we have had a marvelous day here uh, in downtown New Bern. And I hope you enjoy all of our videos and remember to ring your bell at four o'clock tomorrow. And you can also come downtown in New Bern and hear the church bells at four o'clock. You guys have a great day.